Okay, let's take everything we've learned in lessons one, two, three, and four, and let's make a Christmas card. The first thing we're going to do is go to Insert Images. We're going to search for a rectangle. I'm going to grab this one. And then I also want the word that off of there, the word Mary. And one I want, just kind of browsing, is this one. And it is from Beyond Birthdays. And I also want some holly. Let's find some holly. And I'm going to use this holly, which is from Teresa Collins, December 25th. Okay, so I have the holly, the Mary, and a rectangle. And we're going to insert image. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here's the holly, here's the Mary, and here's our rectangle. We want to make a standard A2 size card turned on its side. So we're going to make this, let's uncheck the, or unlock the key proportion button. And let's make this 5.5 wide by 8.5 long, which when folded in half, it'll be four and a quarter. Okay, so I want to put a sentiment on the inside of the card. This is going to be the card base. This top will fold over. So this will be the inside of our card. So I'm going to go to text. All right, so I'm going to type happy holidays from our family to yours. And I want to change this to a writing font. So I'm going to go to has writing style. And I am going to pick all mixed up and I want to size this down so I'm going to grab the corner make it about that big and I want it to be about right here if you click on this you can tell where the center points are so this is where the crease will be and this is the center of the card vertically so I can move that just a little bit Check it again. That looks pretty centered in that lower section. Uh, the other thing I want to do is center the sentiment. Okay. Now I want this sentiment to be in a different color, so I'm going to go in the Layers panel, click on it, and I think I'm going to write it in black just to make it show up really well. Now I'm going to select both of those, right-click, Attach. And what that's going to do is keep that sentiment right there in the card base. So that's the card base. We're done with that. Now we're going to work on this. And actually, I want to make one more rectangle. So I'm going to copy, paste. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside. We're going to make this one the size of the front of the card. And as I said, this is an A2 size card. So we're going to unlock the key proportions, we're going to make the width 5.5, and we're going to make the height 4.25. And that's going to fit right on the front of our card when that's folded over. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add some more text, and I'm just going to write out the word in all caps, CHRISTMAS. And I do not want a writing style for this one. We're going to cut it out. So we're going to change that over to all fonts. And I just want a sans serif straight font. That one will work. That's Adobe Fan Heidi Standard. 
But any, let's see, I'll find one that most people have. Aerial will work. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these letters out of the front of this card base. And I want to make these kind of tall. So I'm going to drag on this bottom one. I like the way they're spaced, so I'm not going to mess with that. If you want to change yours, you can drag them out a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do is cut these letters out of that card base. So I put that over the top. My card base is on the bottom. The letters are on the top. And you know this because if it wasn't, you couldn't see the letters when I put them behind there. So I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to go over to my Layers panel and hit Slice. Now what that did was give me a negative. Let's see if I put it over the green. Those holes are cut out. Okay, so I'm going to grab this Christmas and get rid of it. We don't need that. Okay, now I wanted to do another fun thing, and I want to draw a red outline with the pen on top of this rectangle. And the way I'm going to do that is use a rectangle, but I just thought I'd want yet another rectangle, so we're going to copy and paste one more time, and you'll figure out how this is all going to come together here in a minute. We're going to use this rectangle. I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I'm going to change it to right. So that just gives me an outline. Okay, so now I'm going to take this outline and remember this card base was 5.25 by 4 and a quarter. So let's go into the edit panel. Let's unlock the keep proportions. Let's change this to 5.25 by 4.00, which will be a quarter inch smaller all the way around. And let's center that. And I'm just using my arrow keys a little bit. Okay, so that is disappearing behind there, which means it's on a lower layer. And a little bit closer. So let's go over to that rectangle and let's arrange and put it on top. Okay, and I want that rectangle, I'm going to have it draw it in red. So let's do that just so that we can see it. So now it's going, my pen is going to draw a red outline on that card base. So let's select them both right click and attach. And what that's going to do is keep that line attached to that rectangle so that when it draws the rectangle it'll be on top of that, out, that cutout. So I'm just going to set that over here for the moment. Okay, so now we're going to take this rectangle. We're going to change this rectangle to red. And we want to go over to the edit panel, unlock the key proportions. We want to make this four point or five point two five wide by four point zero zero wide. And what this is going to do is sit behind this so that the Christmas will be red and it'll be popped up. Okay, next we're going to use this and I want to bring that to the front, arrange, bring to front. Now this is on top. And I want to make this smaller. And think about like that. And then we're going to use our holly. And I'm going to flip it around kind of like that. Let's bring it to the front. And we'll size it down a little bit. Now I will tell you when you cut this holly, set your machine on custom and then go into the custom settings and change it to custom 
or um, I'm sorry, intricate cuts. It'll slow it down a little bit because when it cuts all these little tiny jagged severe corners, if you don't do that it could rip your paper. So that intricate cut works really well for that. So that's basically what our card is going to look like. Um, I'm going to copy this holly just for an extra layer. I may or may not use it when I put it together. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm also thinking I'd like to put a little star on top of that Christmas tree. So let's go find a star. Insert images. Type in star. And any old star will do. Whatever you've got a subscription to. I like this one that's not perfect. I'll just use this one and insert. Here's my star. And there's two layers there. I only need one, so I'm going to ungroup. And I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to size this down. I'm going to be the star on my Christmas tree. Okay, I'm going to send this to the cutter and let's see what we've got. All right, we've got our two pieces of holly. We've got our berries in red. We've got our base paper in red. And you notice those are on two separate papers. I'm going to go back in. I just want to use the same piece of paper. I don't want to have to load it twice. So what I'm going to do is select the holly and I'm going to go into the sink and it's saying I have the red base layer here and the, this is the, the software thinks this is a different color red so I'm just going to pull that up to that one okay now let's try it again go and I could have just loaded the same piece of paper twice I wouldn't have had to do that but it just makes it go a little quicker Okay, so I have my holly layer, I have my red layer with the base and the berries. I have the Mary. I'm going to cut that out in green glitter. And then I have my card base. The writing is attached. I have the front piece with the cutouts. And I got one more, my star, which I'm going to cut out in silver glitter. So I'm going to cut all these out and I'll meet you back at my craft board and we'll assemble it. Okay, I'm going to speed this video. We've got all our pieces here, our card base, the Christmas cutout piece, the red piece, and I put all my little pieces in a bowl just to keep track of them so I don't lose any little pieces. First thing we're going to do is fold the card base in half. I like to score mine with the bone folder. And then we're going to adhere the red piece down to the card base, to the front. Next we're going to apply the Mary to the front of the cutout Christmas base. I'm just using a Zig 2A glue pen. Okay, I'm going to grab the star out of my bowl and I'm just going to use a little piece of foam adhesive to pop that up off the card a little bit. Okay, I'm going to speed the video up a little bit. I was thinking of using two different pieces of holly, but I decided after looking at it that one would be plenty. So I'm going to first apply the berries to the holly. I'm using my Quick Stick by We Are Memory Keepers. If you don't have one of these, they're really handy to have, especially with these little tiny pieces uh, from the Cricut Explorer that you're trying to attach. It's just got a sticky end to it, and then in the other end has a kind of a pointed sharp end that can help you uh, remove it from the sticky end. If that makes sense. Sometimes those little tiny pieces are bigger than your hands. And I think this is the last berry here. 
Now I'm going to use a little product called Wink of Stella. It is a glitter brush pen and it just kind of, it doesn't really add glitter, it just kind of adds a shimmer and I'm going to put that on the berries and ultimately I put it all over the holly and it just gives it a little bit of shine, a little bit of glimmer. I love to use this just to dress up everything just a little bit. And I'm just finishing with the Wink of Stella ink pen. And I'm going to add that to the card with some very small pieces of foam adhesive. And I'm just going to apply that to the card base, and then I'm going to add the foam dots to the back of the card base. Wouldn't it be great if we really worked that fast? Now watch how fast I remove the backing to all these. I love it. And there you have it, finished card. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks.